Hello and welcome to some fun with managerial accounting. Today we are going to review the calculation and application of the degree of operating leverage using exercise 315 which has been replicated here. Okay so we have a um, financial statement, a contribution margin income statement for Hogue Sports Hut and they want us to answer these questions. First, what is Hogue Sport Hut's degree of operating leverage? All right, so over here I have our information that we need for degree of operating leverage. Remember that degree of operating leverage is total contribution margin divided by operating income. Okay, so we're going to take our total contribution margin, in this case 304,000, divided by our operating income, and that will give us our degree of operating leverage 2.5. Okay, so next question is, if Anna Hogue, the company's president, is successful in increasing sales revenue by 5%, by what percent will the company's operating income increase? Okay, this is the main use for degree of operating leverage. If we take our increase in sales, which is 5%, and we multiply it by our degree of operating leverage, that gives us our increase in operating income. So you take your increase in sales, multiply by your degree of operating leverage, and that gives us our increase in operating income. So that tells us that a 5% increase in sales is going to result in a 12.5% increase in operating income. All right, next they're asking us, after achieving the sales increase in Part B, what will be the company's new operating income? All right, so we're going to see a 12.5% increase. So let's take our old operating income of 121,600. We're going to add 12.5% of that to get our new operating income. So we're going to take this times the 12.5%. That's our increase. Our new operating income will be these two added together, or 136,800. Finally, they want, after achieving the sales increase in Part B, what will be the company's new operating leverage? Okay, so again, in order to find the new operating leverage, we need our contribution margin and our operating income. Remember that contribution margin, as long as there are no other changes, contribution margin will increase at the same rate as sales. So our new contribution margin is going to be 5% greater than our old contribution margin. So we're going to take 304,000, let's multiply that by 1.05 to get our new contribution margin of 319,200. We know our new operating income is 136,8. So our new degree of operating leverage is our new contribution margin divided by our new operating income or 2.33. Okay, that's the end of this exercise. I hope you find this useful in your studies.